I feel your absence keenly. But I am not a woman. But I am not a woman. Sometimes I ask myself, what would I do if he did not exist? And yet, I am not a woman. I am working. I am writing. I am plowing the black earth of Mother Russia. I am pregnant. I am bearing children for you. And yet, I am not a woman. And yet, I am not a woman. O oh, thou whom I fear to love. O oh, thou whom I do not fear to love. I am no woman. I am not obscene. No one sees better than you as I plough the black earth. No one sees me more clearly on my distant path. No one understands your strength as I do. I feel it with my very guts. The path is far away. So far I have barely skirted the open field. I am digging the black earth. I am thinking, what if he did not exist? He no longer exists. What if his strength did not exist in me? The earth is not obscene. His strength in me is not obscene. O oh, thou whom I do not fear to love. I am no woman. I am not obscene. O oh, thou whom I fear to love. I feel your strength in me. I am digging the black earth. I feel your child in me. Tell me I am not obscene. <laughs> Tell me I am not obscene. Yeah. 
you. I touched you. Let go of my lapel. Let go of my lapel. I shall be late for church. Let go of my lapel. Thank you.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. now I have been living with men and sharing a bed with men and waking with men and it has been like living within an inch of love within an ace an arm thrown across mine a leg encroaching heedless of what it inflicts upon my wakefulness I learned long ago to lie still on my side of that inch. Never to cross that inch uninvited. That dangerous inch. It is like the space between two armies. But no. Peace now. Peace to that inch of love. Where so many hopes have been defeated. Where so many lie wounded. My friend is sleeping at my side. It should be enough. We are men, after all. After all is said and done, yes, we are men. Lying side by side at dawn, sharing a manly bed. After drinking deep together through the night. But sometimes I have thought, if I am truly a man, I should not be so furtive. I should have declared myself. Is it not manly and clean to declare yourself? Is it not honest? And I remember sometimes when I have been in the thick of a crowd as a great procession passed or a fair or some other sensation, I have become aware that someone with a subtle hand was making free with my body, touching my sex as if inadvertently. And I wanted to cry out, as Christ called out, who was it touched me? At once, I would search the faces around me for this unexpected friend, this thief of love, this Comrade, but whenever I thought I could identify such a face, it belonged to someone so furtive, so anxious, someone slipping away, I could see it would be pointless to try to detain him. Were you seeking for love, my friend? Stay for a while. I too am a seeker. What are you saying? Says the man. What are you accusing me of? I do not understand. Are you trying to ruin me? The bells are ringing. The priest has entered the church and I shall be late for the service. Let go of my... my lapel. For years now I have been living with men and sharing a bed with them as if I were one of these furtive love thieves in the crowd within an ace of discovery. Always within an inch of love. Then my friends leave me. One by one they leave me. Looking for love, they say, crossing the inch. Is there no limit to their obtuseness? No end to mine. <laughs>